Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. So for dinner tonight, we are having chili dogs, and I made a homemade hot dog chili. I think I recorded this a long time ago on our channel. I'll have to go back and look and see if I can find the video. If I didn't, I'll make sure to link the recipe in the description box. It's one that I found on all recipes. So we are having French fries as well. This is Howard's plate and he's got avocado, chili, and cheese. And here is my plate. I just have chili and cheese. The hot dogs that we are using are the Oscar Mayer. These were in my freezer, something that we needed to use. Howard just threw them on the grill. And then we are finishing up this bag of seasoned fries that I had in my freezer from Aldi. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see y'all next time. So I was craving roasted chicken and sweet potatoes. And so let me show you how I prepare my food. So I have four large leg quarters here. I cleaned it and then I loosened the skin. The seasoning that I used is this Lowry's chicken blend. I really like it a lot. The packaging looks a little different now, but I like it because it has everything in there already. It has um, garlic and onion powder, salt, black pepper, you name it, it's got it in there. So I put it underneath my skin, on top of my skin, I season the top and bottom. And then mostly for color, I add smoked paprika. And I um, roast mine at 400 degrees for about an hour, hour and 15 minutes, sometimes more, just depending off the chicken is larger and it needs more time to cook. And then my sweet potatoes, I have about, I guess two and a half pounds of sweet potatoes that I washed and chopped up. And to it, I add cinnamon, nutmeg, brown sugar, and white sugar. And then I have almost a whole stick of unsalted butter on there as well. I have probably about a third of a cup of water at the bottom of the pan to help with steaming. I cover my sweet potatoes with foil, and then I usually end up cooking them on 350 for about an hour or until they're tender. And then the last 15 minutes or so, I remove the foil cover because I like that um, liquid to kind of get absorbed a little bit. So um, I have a couple of more things cooking as well. And then I'll show you our finished plates. Oh, I can't remember if I mentioned the amount of brown sugar and white sugar. It's probably about a half of a cup to a um, three quarters of a cup. Um, Cause I don't, you know, measure it in a measuring cup. I just kind of scoop it in. So if I had to guess, that's how much um, I'm using. And then what I do halfway through cooking the potatoes is I stir them up, I taste it and I see if they need more sugar and I'll add, you know, adjust the sugar as needed. So anyway, I'll be back. So the sweet potatoes have been in the oven for almost an hour. I took them out to stir them around a little bit, just as I said that I would. And you can see how much liquid is, is in there. So I want that to kind of cook out a little bit more. Um, and I tasted the sweet potatoes, not quite sweet enough for my liking. So I'm gonna add a little bit more sugar to it. And then I'm also gonna add some more cinnamon and nutmeg. I'm gonna stick it back in the oven, um, uncovered, to let some of that liquid evaporate. So I'll be back. Okay, so here's our dinner. Here's the chicken. I ended up letting this cook for an hour and 45 minutes. Halfway through, I basted the chicken with some of the juices. Um, normally, I don't cook my chicken that long, but these um, leg quarters are huge, and I am serving it with some collard greens. In my collard greens, I used a ham hock and a bunch of leeks. My aunt taught me that trick, and it is so good. It adds so much flavor um, to the greens, and then I seasoned it with salt, seasoned the greens with salt. And then Howard likes stovetop, so I made him some stovetop, just some regular old chicken stovetop. Here's the rest of the chicken. Here's how it turned out. And then this is my plate. Same thing, except I'm eating sweet potatoes and Howard doesn't care for sweet potatoes. So usually when I make sweet potatoes, I make him stovetop because I do not like stovetop. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see y'all next time. 
So I am trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight. I have a bunch of these Nor rice sides. So I went on their website to see what kind of recipes I could come up with. And the one that I found was this one, creamy chicken and broccoli. So I have everything for it. Um, it calls for boneless, skinless chicken breast uh, that you need to cook. But I actually had some Tyson chicken breast chunks in my freezer. So I have a half a pound of chopped up pre-cooked chicken breast. Um, instead of using frozen broccoli, I have um, or had fresh broccoli in my fridge that needed to be used up. Here is the rice sides. The recipe calls for the creamy chicken and I just have regular chicken, which is fine. In my skillet, I've got my onions and garlic going. So I am getting ready to add in my broccoli, the rice and water and then I will add back and once that's done I'll add in the chicken and I think I may have mentioned this but I'm going to add some cheese to the recipe as well so I'll be right back so here's how it turned out I tasted it it's pretty good I didn't add any additional salt to this because we're trying to watch our salt intake and I think it has a pretty good flavor as is um, it was really quick and easy to make. I would definitely make it again. And the fresh broccoli turned out just fine. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. So it is early in the morning and I am getting our dinner going for tonight. One of our subscribers mentioned that her husband loved beef and noodles after she saw our chicken and noodles video, um, crock pot video. And so I decided to give that a try today. So I had two and a half pounds of um, short ribs in my freezer. So um, I have them in my crock pot at the very bottom of the crock pot. You can kind of see it. I have some shallots that were in my fridge that I needed to use up. And then on top of the short ribs, I have a package of the beefy onion soup mix and I just sprinkled it on top. I typically don't put any water um, in my crock pot when I'm making roast and things like that. So I'm not gonna do that this time either. I'm just gonna cook these low and slow for eight to 10 hours. And then I'm going to add some egg noodles. Um, I'm gonna cook my egg noodles separately, I'm gonna shred my meat and then add my egg noodles to the crock pot and see how that turns out. This is gonna be a new one for me. All right, so I'll be back. Okay, so here are the beef and noodles and it is absolutely delicious. I took the meat off the bone and then I strained out the fat, put the broth and all that goodness back in there. And then I cooked four cups of egg noodles and added them to the um, meat mixture. And here it is in the crock pot. It is really very good. And that is Harrison in the background. He's not very happy right now. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having DiGiorno frozen pizza. This is their pan pizza and it comes in this tray and you cook it in the tray and then you take it out to serve it. I had mentioned that this used to be our favorite pan pizza and then we discovered the Detroit style pizza and it is very good. But this is the last one that we had in our freezer and so of course I wanted to use it. Um, but here is the bottom of the pizza if you're not familiar with what they look like. As you can see it's nice and golden brown. I mean it's a good pizza but not as good as the Motor City pizza that we really like a lot. Alright so this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we'll see you all next time.